Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Ammal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vanni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the subject Solution for Engineering Service Examination, Preliminary Question in Thermodynamics. The topic is Second Law of Thermodynamics. So, we take few questions from the Second Law of Thermodynamics in the UPSC. Engineering Service Examination. First question, a reversed Carnot engine removes 50 kilowatts from a heat sink. The temperature of the sink is 250 Kelvin and the temperature of the heat reservoir is 300 Kelvin. The power required of the engine is 10 kilowatt, 20 kilowatt, 30 kilowatt, 50 kilowatt. The answer is 10 kilowatt. We will see how in the next slide. The heat removed Q2 equal to 50 kilowatt, temperature of the heat sink is T2 equal to 250 Kelvin, temperature of the heat reservoir T1 equal to 300 Kelvin, heat supplied by the reservoir Q1 equal to T1 into Q2 by T2 which is 300 into 50 by 250 equal to 60 kilowatts. So, the power required W work done Q1 minus Q2 60 minus 50 equal to 10 kilowatt. So, the power required to drive the engine, power required to drive, drive the reversed Carnot engine is 10 kilowatt. Next question, a heat engine receives heat at the rate of 2500 kilojoules per minute and gives an output of 12.4 kilowatt. Its thermal efficiency is nearly 18 percent, 23 percent, 26 percent, 30 percent. The answer to the question, heat supplied 2500 kilojoules per minute which is 41.67 kilowatts, work output W equal to 12.4 kilowatt, the thermal efficiency of the cycle eta equal to work done divided by the heat supplied, 12.4 divided by 41.67 into 100 equal to 29.75 percentage. So, the answer is 30 percentage. The next question, one reversible heat engine operates between 1000 Kelvin and T2. Kelvin and another reversible heat engine operates between T2 Kelvin and 400 Kelvin. If both the engines have the same heat input and the output, then the temperature T2 must be equal to 582.7 Kelvin, 632.5 Kelvin, 682.8 Kelvin, 732.5 Kelvin. The answer to the question. So, T1 temperature T1 equal to 1000 Kelvin, temperature T3 equal to 400 Kelvin. For the same input and the output of the engine work done is the same, then the intermediate temperature T2 equal to square root of T1 T3. So, square root of 1000 into 400 equal to 632.45. So, the answer is 632.5 Kelvin. Next question, a Carnot engine operates between 300 Kelvin and 600 Kelvin. If the entropy change during the heat addition is 1 kilojoules per Kelvin, the work produced by the engine is 100 kilojoules, 200 kilojoules, 300 kilojoules, 400 kilojoules. The answer is 300 kilojoules. So, we will see how in the next slide. The answer, temperature limit of the Carnot cycle T1 equal to 600 Kelvin, T2 equal to 300 Kelvin. Entropy change during the heat addition process 1 kilojoules per Kelvin. The efficiency of the Carnot cycle eta equal to 1 minus T2 by T1, which is 1 minus 300 by 600 equal to 0 0.5. The heat supplied Q1 equal to T1 into delta S. So, 600 into 1 equal to 600 kilojoules. So, work produced by the engine W equal to Q into eta. Heat supplied into efficiency 600 into 0.5 equal to 300 kilojoules. So, that is the answer to the question. The work produced by the engine is 300 kilojoules. Next question, an ideal heat engine operating on a reversible cycle produces 9 kilowatt. The engine operates between 27 degrees Celsius and 927 degrees Celsius. What is the fuel consumption given that the calorific value of the fuel is 40,000 kilojoules per kilogram? The answer options are 0 0.8 kilograms per hour, 1.02 kilograms per hour, 1.08 kilograms per hour, 2.18 kilograms per hour. The answer is 1.08 kilograms per hour. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, work produced W equal to 9 kilowatt, temperature limit of the heat engine cycle T1 equal to 927 degree Celsius which is 1200 Kelvin, 
T2 equal to 27 degree Celsius, which is 300 Kelvin. Calorific value of the fuel is 40,000 kJ per kilogram. So, efficiency of the heat engine cycle, eta equal to 1 minus T2 by T1, which is 1 minus 300 by 1200, which is 0.75. Heat supplied to the engine, Q equal to work done divided by eta. So, this equal to 9 divided by 0 0.75 equal to 12 kilowatt. So, the mass of the fuel equal to M equal to amount of heat supplied divided by the calorific value of the fuel. So, 12 by 40,000 into 3600, which is 1.08 kilograms per hour. That is the answer to the question. The next question, a reversible heat engine operating on Carnot cycle between the temperature limits of 300 Kelvin and 1000 Kelvin and produces 14 kilowatt of power. If the calorific value of the fuel is 40,000 kilojoules per kilogram, the fuel consumption will be, so we have four options, 1.4 kilograms per hour, 1.8 kilograms per hour, 2 kilograms per hour and 2.2 kilograms per hour. The answer is 1.8 kilograms per hour. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, the answer to the question, work produced W equal to 14 kilowatt, temperature limit of the heat engine cycle T1 equal to 1000 Kelvin and T2 equal to 300 Kelvin. Calorific value of the fuel Cv equal to 40,000 kilojoules per hour. The efficiency of the heat engine cycle eta equal to 1 minus T2 by T1, which is 1 minus 300 by 1000 equal to 0 0.7. Heat supplied to the engine Q equal to W work done divided by eta, so 14 divided by 0 0.7 equal to 20 kilowatts. So, the mass of the fuel M equal to heat supplied divided by the calorific value 20 divided by 40,000 into 3600 equal to 1.8 kilograms per hour. It is the answer to the question. The next question, a reversible heat engine rejects 80 percentage of the heat supplied during a cycle of operation. If the engine is reversed and operates as the refrigerator, then the then its coefficient of performance shall be, there are four options, 6, 5, 4, 3. The answer to the question, heat rejected Q2 equal to 0 0.8 times of Q1. So, COP of the refrigerator, COP equal to Q2 divided by Q1 minus Q2, substituting for Q2, 0 0.8 Q1 divided by Q1 minus 0 0.8 Q1 equal to 4. So, the answer is 4. The next question, a heat engine working on Carnot cycle receives heat at the rate of 50 kilowatt from a source 1300 Kelvin and rejected to a sink at 400 Kelvin. The heat rejected is there are four options, 20.3 kilowatt, 15.4 kilowatt, 12.4 kilowatt and 10.8 kilowatt. The answer to the question, heat supplied is 50 kilowatt, temperature limit of the Carnot cycle, T1 equal to 1300 Kelvin, T2 equal to 400 Kelvin. Heat rejected Q2 equal to T2 into Q1 by T1, which is 400 into 50 divided by 1300 equal to 15.38 kilowatt. So, the answer is 15.4 kilowatt. The next question, an engine working on basis of basics of Carnot cycle operating between temperature 800 Kelvin and 400 Kelvin, the heat, if the heat supplied is 100 kilowatts, the work output is, four options are given, 50 kilowatt, 60 kilowatt, 70 kilowatt and 80 kilowatt. The answer is 50 kilowatt. So, we will see how in the next slide. Heat supplied is 100 kilowatt, Q1 equal to 100 kilowatt. Temperature of the heat sink, T2 equal to 400 Kelvin. Temperature of the heat reservoir or heat source, T1 equal to 800 Kelvin. Heat rejected from the sink, Q2 equal to T2 into Q1 by T1, 400 into 100 divided by 800 equal to 50 kilowatt. The power required, W equal to Q1 minus Q2, which is 100 minus 50 equal to 50 kilowatt. That is the answer to the question. Next question. Two reversible engines are connected in series between heat source and the sink. The efficiency of these engines are 60 percent and 50 percent respectively. If these engines are replaced by a single reversible engine, the efficiency of the engine will be. There are four options, 60 percent, 70 percent, 80 percent, 90 percent. The answer is 80 percent. So, we will see how in the next slide. Efficiency of the engine 1, eta equal to 1 minus T2 by T1 equal to 0 0.6. So, T2 by T1 equal to 0 0.4. Efficiency of the engine 2, eta equal to 1 minus T3 by T2, which is 0 0.5. So, T3 by T2 equal to 0 0.5. So, T3 divided by 
substituting for T2 from the previous equation. So, 0 0.4 times of T1 equal to 0 0.5. So, T3 by T1 equal to 0 0.5 into 1 point 0 0.4 equal to 0 0.2. Now, the efficiency of the single engine with the same temperature limit eta equal to 1 minus T3 by T2 which is 1 minus 0 0.2 equal to 0 0.8 which is 80 percentage. So, that is the answer to the question. The engine operating between the temperature T1 and T3. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject. Uh, you can refer to the book for additional theoretical information. I upload the video lecture of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. You subscribe the channel, use the videos for your better learning. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me uh, for any clarification on the subject. We will meet again with another video lecture in the solution for second law of thermodynamics questions from the engineering service examination. Until then, bye.